And I woke up this morning feeling so I'm actually making breakfast now. So I have my, my blender and I'm making porridge because I only I can only get the jumbo rolled out. So I have to like blend it out, look a bit so look a bit smoother, and then maybe make porridge with it. So I already put on my pattern with cinnamon stick and thing. I woke up this morning feeling so I don't know what to say because the past week has been so difficult for me personally um being in a in a in a situation that i feel so defeated or lack of a better word um not defeated in in this journey but just 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 life in general i just feel so down um a friend of mine passed and i think i told the story before or probably i just said it on tiktok but uh, a friend of mine, she has been, trust me, she has been a real trooper um, through this entire thing. She had breast cancer and she was, she was, she was a really good friend of mine and uh, believe me, she passed unexpectedly um, early June and she was, she was laid to rest over, over the past weekend and believe you me, it's like, um, from from one point of view, she has been a fighter. She has been a trooper. And she has always sent me these encouraging notes and um, prayers and well wishes. And since since her passing, it, it just feels like there's a weight on me, honestly. And uh, I'm trying to shake it because I know that that situation does not affect my situation. Um, I'm trying to shake it. But you know, we are human beings. Um, Trust me, and this weekend they laid her to rest. Last weekend they laid her to rest, and it was. I, I stayed up to attend the funeral online, and trust me, it was it was it was a beautiful reception and everything, but it was brutal in a sense that she had so much so much love and so much empathy, and she lived her life just. And then for her to to pass like this, it was just so sad was so sad trust me and then a co-worker somebody who worked who i worked with for years um passed away tragically tragically passed away in, a, in, a, in what can only be described as a freak accident and that in itself kind of just hammer me down um believe you me it is not it is not in the, the no way shape or form easy to deal with everything that is happening um but just have to just go on poetry you know and do don't allow everything external things to weigh down on me but trust me kick my ass this week last week i had to just like you know total reset just rethinking about everything um and just you know convince myself not not really convince myself but get to the space where vanessa that is happening and that is separate and apart from your life um that's a tragedy that's a sad but don't allow it to take up too much space yes um so you have to grieve because as i said i was really good friends with this lady um so i had to grieve that loss and i'm still i think maybe i'm still in the process of grieving that loss because as i said we were really close we were battling something unseen together and you know she was she has been a real inspiration for me so you know i had to just um, learn how to deal with that and learn how to process that uh, losing somebody that you love or somebody that has been there somebody that you thought would have made it it's not easy it's not easy but 
we push through. So I got up. I go make my son breakfast now. I go do my exercise and uh, yeah, let's see what the day holds. Let's see what today holds. Okay guys, so I legit went to my fruits man and he had something different today and I decided to try it. So this is called Rambutan. It is like a cross between, not a cross, but a cousin, um, a relative of the guinep and lychee and also Logan, you know, those are all from the same family. So this is Rambutan and it is originated in southeast asia and there seems to be a lot here in india you know india is a subcontinent of asia and if you didn't know you heard it here well all right so we're gonna try it and rate it one to ten it looks very uh, scary it i give me what the hell is happening here vibes it looks like something from discovery channel but you know me i'm gonna try it okay so let's try it and rate it one to ten and if you have ever had it before, guys, if you ever had it before, please comment down in the comment section and let me know if you ever eat it before. Rambutan, it feels so prickly, so prickly. Have you ever had it before or do you know it as a different name? Because maybe in Jamaica we call it something else, if it is in Jamaica. Let me know. Okay, so first bite, I'm washing it already and things. So first bite, I don't know if should I bite it or cut me for cut it. Let me try for a bite. Mm -hmm. feel like a cut mm -hmm. feel like a cut Roger, pass it for me okay all right guys so see it now i'm gonna cut it and Woohoo! look at that look at that it looks just like a lychee Roger, look at it it looks like like a lychee it looks like a lychee and it also you know or guinea what like a big thick guinea so it comes in this really thick pod our skin and then this is the fruit lie you are tell lie you are tell mm -hmm. you just took a pool life so damn mm. it's real good it's good it tastes just like in a Mm-hmm. All right. Let's go for your next one. It tastes just like in it my side. When I smell. It tastes just like in it. Oh my god. Oh my god. Wow. Mm. Mm-mm. Layer. Mm-mm. This tastes like guinea, but it's sweet. Like a, like a sweet, sweet guinea. You know, I'm not no stain it on him. I like it. It's like a sweet name. Right, you're giving it to me. Like a light, you're giving it to me. My legit up for a circle fruits, man, for our next one. Like a light, you're giving it to me. Little cousin. Little brother. Mm hmm. There's a seed inside. See there? When I reach the core, there's a seed. Oh wow. Like mm -hmm. It's a smaller seed. Mm -hmm. It's yum. I like it. I'll give it a 10. Straight up. I give 10. So I legit just shell an entire container in a one sitting. Listen. This just might be my favorite. I only I left one for you. <laughs> when they say could I leave one? <laughs> Jesus. Was served too long. The one is well. Was served too long. Serve too master. Come back on it that one before you serve our next master. <laughs> okay, so tonight is date night. My I have a date with my husband. This is a long distance relationship is really hard, guys. If you're in a long distance relationship, tell me how to do it. It's really hard, it's really difficult, honestly. Um, trying to keep everything going as it should um, but you know we just have to try we did not put ourselves in this situation by choice we were forced in this situation so as a result we just have to try and make the best of it so we have movie night tonight it is now seven o'clock it's gonna be movie night movie day for him but movie night um, and then 
next month we reverse it so we have we're gonna be watching a movie tonight we're gonna watch one sky scraper yes um so we're gonna watch it together and then we're gonna talk about it after listen technology thank you god for technology technology at its greatest i don't know how people used to do it back in the days but thank you jesus for technology now so we're gonna have a little bit of date night and before one day it starts actually Two. Let me get a bit of you at the back. See there? Bubble, bubble, bubble. Corn. I have corn. It's basically a vegetable soup. I have corn. I have Irish. I have carrot. I have chocho. Yes, I'm going to drop two pieces of sweet potato tonight because, listen, I don't have everything, but I try with it. Okay? Yeah. Day and night it is. Yeah, we just try our best to make it work as best as possible because it is a terrible situation and if you know me and you know my husband you know that we are we are always together it is really hard for us to be apart for such a long time because we're really always together do everything together um yeah so i'm just trying to put my best to put my best to out there and he's doing the same and i am so appreciative of the fact that he trying as much as I am trying to be there in a way that I am not we do have we do talk every day um, we video chat every single day and also I get to talk with my mother and my son my other son that is aces get to talk with him well I talk him look and yeah so just trying the best that we can do right now there is literally nothing else we can do but make the best of the situation that we got so may I make may I make my soup we're gonna make him breakfast and then we're gonna come together and we're gonna watch your show and uh, talk about it until it's time for me to go to bed. Yeah? Yeah. So my soup shot so many things in you know, but let me tell you say it look like nice as a man. Talk to me nice you know. I try you know soupish but she have bubble like soup like what? That, that was awkward. That was awkward. I'm I, I I'm sorry, I need a new phrase. Maggie Beggy has sponsor because all the way over here in India is the Jamaican cock soup with pumpkin. Yes, Maggie, please beg your sponsor, baby. Is that work out, boy? <laughs> Rub a scalp, little sir. <laughs> <laughs> the easiest massage. Perfect. Oh, Lord. Thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah. It back come out good, you know. It back come out nice on Sunday. Really? Yeah. I thought I'd have a problem there. Yeah. I thought I'd have longer, so I'd have a harder. I think you can just wet up here a little bit and then just let me just... No, Reggie, a night now. This day tomorrow will cool me out. Tomorrow will finish up? Mm hmm. Alright. Give me a little more. Hello, I'm going to love you, you know? Mm hmm. You love cool me out, I'm going to. Mm hmm. I look so fluffy when you're done. No, mm hmm. I shrink it, make it look short, you know? Yeah. Yeah, you're tall, you know? Mm hmm. Yeah, with the lens, one, yes. Yeah. Let's say, um, when you're black mm -hmm. and your hair shrink up, it means your hair healthy. Really? Mm -hmm. Then for more one double healthy. See it on TikTok. Mm -hmm. 
Ooh. Ooh. Sweet. Yeah, but I did it. I'm sweet. I'm very sweet. Get it, man. Yeah. Well, I take time because I'm a plastic like old one. Yeah.